Hello, I'm Dr. Stuhlman. I'm a pediatric hospitalist, which is a fancy term for a pediatrician that takes care of hospitalized patients. And uh, today I'd like to talk with you about um, one of our new um, emerging diseases in children related to coronavirus um, or COVID-19. Um, you may have heard on the news of a new Kawasaki disease-like syndrome associated with COVID-19. Um, we have given it uh, some acronym letters, MISC, which stands for Multi-Inflammatory System Condition uh, Related to Coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2. Um, and all of that is very intimidating and overwhelming. And so today I wanna to start with some of the um, information we do know about uh, MISC and things for you as a parent to watch for and be concerned. But overall, I want to say that um, we at Children's are concerned about all children and would recommend that if you have questions or concerns, we would rather see your child and be reassured than uh, for you to stay home and wonder. So um, my overall point is if you're concerned, we're concerned and we would like to see you. So I'd like to talk specifically about some of the symptoms or um, things that you would see in a child that has this MISC um, disease or what we would have seen in previous um, times of the Kawasaki's disease. Kawasaki's disease um, is a disease that does not have a known trigger. It has been suspected for um, decades that there is a, often a viral or a bacterial infection that may trigger, but what it triggers in the body is an um, uh, inflammation response. So it triggers an inappropriate increase in inflammation and proteins that cause um, inflammation in the blood vessels. And so requires treatment with anti-inflammatories such as high-dose steroids, aspirin, and IVIG. So like Kawasaki's disease, the MISC has a trigger of increased inflammation and that increased inflammation can be seen in the patient with swollen hands or feet, a rash, swollen or red and cracked lips, red eyes, uh, abdominal pain. For the MISC, significant abdominal pain um, and diarrhea uh, with, with, with or without vomiting, um, not eating well, and uh, irritability or just generally not feeling well or feeling like themselves. Um, children with MISC are not um, uh, necessarily our well-appearing um, child with a fever that we would look at and say, it's hard for me to believe they are sick. Um, that being said, though, we do want to see them before they're so severely sick. So we will sometimes see kids with the mild um, beginnings of the MISC with just the sustained fever for three days um, and the abdominal pain uh, before they come, before they present in um, extreme uh, conditions. Uh, and so we would reckon, we would prefer to see them, but um, we, we would, it's sometimes hard to sort out um, what is a standard cold um, in the beginning. And so we are looking at criteria of three days of fever um, higher than 101. This year has been um, a challenge for us as uh, parents, as pediatricians, as caregivers, that um, this is lots of new information. And we have really taken the stance that we would like to um, err on the side of caution. So if you have concerns, um, if you have suspicion, we would much rather have see you and see your child and be assured in their wellness um, and not have you at home worried. Um, because this is new and um, different and we don't have um, a playbook uh, from um, our past experience um, to um, be as confident um, over the phone. And so I would just encourage you, if you are concerned, to reach out to your pediatrician, um, to reach out to the office where your family goes and have an initial conversation and maybe a visit. Um, because uh, um, these, we are um, in the business of caring for precious cargo. Our children are um, our hearts outside our body and we would rather um, uh, uh, make sure that they're safe and well. 